This is the Formula 2 sidecar race. The grid, including a number of luminaries. Mick Bodice, you will see out there, along with Dave Savile, John Brindley, etc. Missing from the grid, of course, very sadly, Jeff Bell and Keith Cornbill. Jeff Bell is the man who hurt himself when the pair went out on the Southern 100. Keith Cornbill got away, only lightly bruised. Jeff Bell broke an arm and a leg and cracked some ribs. He's back home in hospital in Bedlington and will, I understand, be fit soon and probably mended before their outfit is repaired. Well, Richard Nelson, the man in second place, we have seen him on form at Knock Hill and he's on form again now as he closes up with Dave Kimberley, number five, and just goes sailing past round the hairpin. They're on the grass now, they're all over the place coming through the chicane, Nelson. Behind that is five, Kimberley, and behind that, 18, is Mick Bodice and Dave Wells. And the leading trio breaking away from the rest of the field. And Bodice slices up into second place, makes that look nice and easy, but look at that machine switch. They're riding a ragged line there, and very close to the edge of it they are too. And the leading trio are very much now pulling away. Nelson looking good at the front, but look at Bodice. Oh, and Nelson just begins to lock it up. He comes through, takes a deep entry, slides that chair round, and just comes out of the chicane in front of Mick Bodice. That was an all or nothing maneuver, and it came very close to being nothing. Richard Nelson is being pushed hard by Mick Bodice and Dave Wells, and that's Craig Hallam. I feel sure that was 11, Craig Hallam, indeed it was, and he doesn't look like a happy man, he seems to have put his face in the dashboard, shrugs his shoulders, oh well, one of those things, and uh, he's out of it and walking away, Marshall's on the scene, sandbags round the outfits to make it safe. And here comes Nelson with Bodice right behind him and a little bit more cautious round the hairpin. Doesn't get the power down. Here comes Bodice challenging for the chicane. They're through the bus stop. Bodice and Wells are still in second place. Richard Nelson and Mark Camp still out in front. It looks like a single unit coming towards us. Now watch Bodice come out of the slipstream. He did it here before taking second place. Oh, and he overtakes. He cuts right in front of Nelson and claims the racing line there. Old manoeuvre from Bodice. Here's the moment back at the bus stop chicane. Hallam into the tyres. Mike Wynn on the grass there, the first man up. And Craig Hallam just thinking about it before he pulls his face up and walks away. But now Mick Bodice leads this Formula 2 race. Nelson has expired at Gerrard's on the very last lap. Richard Nelson's machine has died on him. The Yamaha engine has let him down and Bodice takes the win. Mick Bodice wins it. And behind in second place, the battle rages between the rest of the field anxious to make up the ground. Lost by Richard Nelson. Kimberley second, Biggs third. Then John Brindley in fourth place. Dave Savile finishes in seventh place. 